This is a case study of a tree problem in a parking lot. One weekend, my family was going to a restaurant for lunch. We parked beneath this Schumard oak tree so the car could get a little shade. How does this tree look to you? And what do you think happened next? Well, I promptly stepped on a caterpillar while getting out of the car and felt the disgusting squish. Bug guts and frass were littered all over the pavement and the caterpillars were all over the tree trunk. The live ones, that is. Of course, the kids immediately wanted to play with those caterpillars, but they were afraid that the hairs or spines could sting them. I picked one up and showed them that this species was safe to touch. The caterpillar thrashed around a little bit in my hand, but thankfully it didn't poop or spit on me. Looking a little closer, we determined that the caterpillars were yellow-striped oakworms. Their scientific name is Anisota pegleri. The common name does make sense. The caterpillar has yellow stripes along its body, and it does feed on oak. It also has two soft black antenna-looking things sticking up behind its head, but they are probably just for show. These caterpillars looked fairly mature and could be expected to pupate soon. Yellow-striped oakworms are called fall defoliators. That just means that they eat the leaf tissue during the fall months. See how they left the midribs and some lateral veins on the leaves and just ate the softer tissue in between? Maybe five or so branches on this tree were defoliated by early October. Some frass and caterpillars are dropping from the tree, but no one is getting hurt. The tree is not in danger of major growth loss or dieback, and most people probably don't notice the infestation unless they park near the tree. So what would you do in this situation? Get the chainsaw out and cut the tree down? Prune the damaged branches off? Treat the tree? If you cho choose to treat, then which method would you use? Maybe a foliar spray? But hopefully you wouldn't do this during business hours because of the cars that are there. A soil trench? It's a fairly small media. Uh, maybe the roots might not be able to take up the material fast enough to prevent more damage from occurring. Hmm. Why don't you think about it a little bit more? For more information on this pest, please visit the Featured Creatures website at http colon slash slash entomology.ifas.ufl.edu slash creatures slash trees slash moths slash yellow striped underscore oakworm dot htm or scan this code to uh, with the smartphone to take you right there.